Come on guys, admit it. How many of you have nicked the missus's hairdryer to test a heat detector? I bet a lot of you. Hello and welcome to another episode of Danzy Engineer. Today I have another fire alarm test equipment. This is the Testifier 1000. There's two different models um, of this unit. You've got the 1000, which is this, and then you've got the 2000. The difference between the two is that this tests smoke and heat, whereas the 2000 tests smoke, heat, and CO. And it's, it'll basically have an extension on here for a different cartridge. So the cartridges are nice and easy. It's um, it's one of these, and that's your smoke, which is um, non-harmful, and that just slots in there like that. And you put the cover on. Um, they are battery supplied, so I mean that's that's the head there, and then you've got the batteries, which is uh, one of these. Looks like a nunchuck or something, but that goes into the pole. So these also fit onto the um, the poles that you would use for your, your solo products, which you're probably aware of. And I've done another video, which I'll put at the top there, which you can uh, click on and check out. Um, Cause I've done, I've done a video on the new Solo 365 unit, which is a fantastic bit of kit. The benefits of the Testifier is that it tests heat and smoke together. So um, you haven't got to have uh, two different bits of kit. This is the Solo 330, which is a smoke only using aerosol that go, you know, use the canisters. This is the, the heat detector tester version. And this is the new Solo 365 that does only smoke. So the massive advantage of this is that you don't need two sort of different heads. You just need the one to do all your testing and you can program it. There's different sort of functions that you can press on here. Um, so you can program if you want to do multi sensors that test smoke and heat at the same time, or you can program it to do just a smoke or just the heat. Um, it is battery powered. So there's a setting on there that you can do high power for uh, 90 degree heat. It also has a clearing function, just like the 365. So if you, there's some settings which I'll show you. You can offer it up to a smoke detector, do your test, drop it back down, put it back up again, and it blows away the smoke so there's less, less excess. Now, it only releases X amount of smoke into the chamber, so you're not using excess, you're not having wastage like you do on the aerosols. You haven't got to you know, push up like you do on the 330 uh, for it to come out. It automatically does it. And um, you know it's a neat it's a neat bit of kit. Right, let's turn it on. So you hold the button down there. It's turning on. Lights up. And it just says, "Please wait." We're all good to go. So I want to test a smoke on its own, and I want to use the clear function. So what you do is you press a tick on the smoke, and it says one. And then you scroll down to clear, and you press tick and it says clear two. So that means the first function is it's gonna spray smoke, and then when you drop it out from the detector and put it back up, it will then clear. So let's try that out. So here we have our Apollo detector. I'm gonna offer it up. It's releasing smoke. Fire alarm's gone off. I'm going to drop it down. And I'm going to offer it back up. And it's going to clear it of the smoke. And I'm going to silence and reset the panel. So to recap, nice and easy, with a smoke, you select smoke, tick it, press one. Then you scroll down to clear, you tick it and it says clear two. You offer it up to the smoke, it releases the capsule, the fire alarm goes off, 
you take you drop it down and then you see the lights change color when it does that you then offer it back up and then it will start clearing the smoke out nice and simple right so i now want to change the settings to do uh, a 90 degree heat so what i do is i press x to cancel what it's all on i then going to go to heat and i'm actually going to press tick so it says one then i'm going to press status and because this is a 90 degree heat i'm going to tick the high heat and then you press back so the only function this is going to do now is the heat so let's try this one out so there we've got our apollo 90 degree heat let's put our tester on it it does take a little bit of time on the um, high temperatures so i'm going to reset the alarm the high temperature setting took a bit of time, but that's just because it's got a reach temperature. With multi-sensors, there's two things that you can do. You can either test both functions together, or you can test the smoke separately to the heat, because you want to know that both are working. If you test them both at the same time, you don't necessarily know that, you know, which one was set off. So this is how you sort of go through the programming to do that. Right, so if we want to select to test both of them together, Go to smoke, tick it. Then go to heat and press tick twice so they both say one. So what this means now is that in the first function, they both test together. Now, if you wanted to test them separately, press tick on heat to say two. So on the first function, it'll do smoke. On the second function, it'll do heat. It's completely up to you which way you want to do it. Now, if you test fire alarms, you need test equipment. I see so many people just spraying smoke um, or you know using hair dryers and stuff like that for heat. Just invest into one of these, the Testifier, or one of the solo ranges, whether it's a 365, the 330 with the heat detectors. Um, I, I mainly use these now. So it's just preference at the end of the day. They're both great products. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful and you'll continue watching some of my videos. I have a Facebook page, uh, Dancy Engineer. Feel free to follow me on that. Um, I post you know, my videos and a few other bits and pieces on there. Um, if you have any questions about the product, put it in the comments. Always happy to sort of chat about it. I do speak to manufacturers and whatever, so if you ask me anything, I can get info off them. Um, I always advise when you buy anything, you know, always read the instructions. I know a lot of us don't, but you know, they're pretty straightforward and it sort of makes sense. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.